Ah, g'day friends. Hope you've had a good week. I know you probably haven't gotten much done since you've all been so busy playing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover event on Jetpack Joyride. I've been absolutely loving it, guys. I'm sure you have as well. If you're not yet convinced that you need to play this totally radical, tubular, um, cowabungery Jetpack Joyride event, I'm going to give you guys a quick playthrough, but let me tell you guys, it's loaded with cool features. Vehicle skins, amazing backgrounds, new jetpacks, but my favourite aspect of the new event has got to be the costumes. All the turtles are here, guys. Leonardo, of course. You know, I've always considered myself to be a bit of a Leonardo-type character. The leader of the pack, a courageous example for those around me to follow. That's, that's pretty much break steak fries, you know? <laughs> Uh, so there's Leonardo, there's Raphael, ah, oh, you know, I've always considered myself to be a Raphael type guy, you know, passionate, determined, little hot-headed, that's totally me, guys. Uh, who else? Donatello, of course, he's awesome. I've always considered myself to be a real Donatello style of guy as well, you know, intelligent, scientific, um, I'm always walking around with a big stick. Um, and finally, Michelangelo, I've definitely always considered myself to be a Michelangelo type guy, you know, fun loving, life of the party, and Barry Steak Fries is totally everyone's favourite, you know what I mean? <laughs> ah. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the Ninja Turtle event. There's the loading screen, that one's awesome, straight off the bat. You don't even need anything else, but you're gonna get it in the sewer. You come out on a surfboard and get to surf in the sewer. <laughs> oh, yes. What more could you ask for? Guys, there's Donatello, the Donatello costume. Barry Steak Fries' name just there, just so they don't forget who's in charge. Uh, but it's totally fun. That's the uh, that's the ooze jetpack collecting pizza. And I mean, you're a Ninja Turtle on a jetpack. What more could you ask for out of a mobile video game, guys? Let's see what the strong arm machine has in store for us. Oh yeah, it looks like a turtle. This, I mean. I need say no more, my friends, but it's totally great. Totally awesome backgrounds. Lots of cool jetpacks to collect. All the skins. You've got all the turtles. April O'Neil as well. The scientists, the foot soldiers. I mean, it's just cool. It's just cool, guys. I mean, why wouldn't you want to be a turtle in a massive turtle tank with a turtle jetpack? And now we're in New York. We're in New York now. We get Look how cool and 90s it looks. It's too... Ah, oh, I was too busy looking at the background. But anyway... You get the idea, guys. It's heaps of fun. If you weren't a Ninja Turtles fan before, then you'll totally be one now. I mean, who isn't? You know? I mean, I think we all love Ninja Turtles so much, we kind of forget how utterly ridiculous the whole concept is, you know? Like, pet turtles fall down a sewer, interact with some radioactive ooze, and rather than dying, they morph into giant humanoid turtles who love pizza and get trained in ninjutsu by a giant rat person. I mean, seriously, who who comes up with that? It, well, the truth is it was just a couple of friends in Massachusetts who were just goofing around, drawing wacky pictures, came up with one they thought was quirky enough to make into a into a comic book just just as a bit of a bit of a one-off and bam, the rest as they say my friends is Half shell hero history. Anyway, don't think too much about it, guys. That's my point. Enjoy the fact that it's become one of the greatest action hero franchises of all time. There's no need to dwell on the fact that Barry Steak Fries threw his pet turtle down the sewer as a kid, expecting that a few moments later a, a human sized turtle wearing a bandana would leap out, twirling nunchucks, and invite me to come beat up some foot soldiers. Um, that never happened, of course. The only thing I got was, uh, grounded for flushing a pet turtle down the toilet. Anyway, I'm sure I wasn't the only one who did that. But no need to think about that. Let's get to some, get to some questions for this week. Rafael Fernando says, Hey there, Barry, what's your favourite animal? That's a nice question, Rafael. Obviously, this week, it's a turtle. Great work there by me, tying that in. Uh, of course it goes without saying, Raphael, that the turtle in question would have to have morphed into human size and 
be amazing at some kind of martial art. If it's just a regular turtle, then probably only be top five. Um, but thanks, Raphael. What else have we got? It's K for night. Bracket milk and bracket favorite fruit. Since you played Fruit Ninja, I did play a lot of Fruit Ninja, but this week it's all about the turtles event. So I'm going to say my favorite fruit is turtle fruit. That's that's a fruit, isn't it? Anyone? Yeah. One more. Grumpy Creeper Man says I was playing Jetpack Joyride using the Twister Jetpack and Nerd Repellent and I saw a cow. Now I can't find it. Well, alright. Was it was it a cow in the game or just while you were playing you looked out the window and saw a cow? I, I probably need more information there, Grumpy, but either way, not sure I can help you find your missing cow this week, but thanks for watching, thanks for writing in. Make sure you guys all have a great week. Look after your cows. Uh, subscribe to the Half Brick channel and enjoy the Ninja Turtles event. And I'll catch you all soon. Cowabunga, dudes!